Okay, so I feel strongly about something, so I'm going to make a video about it. This isn't about politics, and that's not what I want this to be about. And please don't even comment if you're going to try to start trouble. This isn't about trouble. This is not my opinion. I'm not giving my opinion. You're not supposed to do that in a professional environment. Although I'm in my kitchen, it's not very professional. But you know what I mean. Donald Trump has not only resurfaced racism and bigotry and, and um, just plain white trash idiot behavior. And we have sat and watched long enough. Can someone please go into the White House like soon before November 20th? Cause, or excuse me, January 20th? Because who the hell knows what kind of damage he's going to do. He has proven he's not okay mentally. And you guys are just letting him make decisions for all of us. We've had one $1,200 check in eight months. Canada got 2000 a month ever since this started. There's a lot of people out there that, that praise Trump and don't know one damn thing about him. Did you know he took the transgenders out of the military? They can't take a bullet for us because of his personal beliefs. In the name of God that he doesn't, or Jesus that he doesn't even, please, I'm not even going there. The people that believe that that whole fake, I'll grab her by the pussy, that is disgusting. No man would ever say, I'll grab her by the pussy unless he was a predator, period. I've seen the way he looks at his daughter and it's weird. It makes me uncomfortable. It makes me mad that they call Biden a child molester when he wants to sleep with his daughter. Can someone please get him out of the fucking office before he kills more people? I mean, he, he had COVID for two days and got cleared to go home. And he, his wife and son had it too. That, he took the cure. <laughs> well, if you have the cure, it sounds like he did a little bit of cleaning house. And the virus is very picky. Like, it picks on the black people, the Mexican people, the old people, the people that aren't paying taxes. So you just save somebody a lot of money. I hate conspiracy theories. Donald Trump, you're the one that started all this when you said that Obama wasn't from the United States. He had to prove he was. He invited you to that correspondence dinner. You got humiliated. It was hilarious. It just showed that Obama... Could I thought it was great. I mean, everything he said was true. Just like I'm saying in this video, I've not given one opinion. This is all truth. Facts. Uh, fact search people or fact check people. Let them know this is all the truth. When um, Puerto Rico had that hurricane right after Trump came in, after he threw the military, the transgenders out. First of all, I'm sorry, I'm ADD. He threw the transgender people out without talking to anybody about it. It's just something he decided he was going to do. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Four months later, they finally had enough time to come up with a legit enough reason to make it legal. And they said it's because it's a mental health problem. Well, duh. It's not a choice. But girls don't want to get their brush cut off and have a four-inch dick and have hair all over their face. Because believe me. Us girls don't want hair on our face. It's it's a nightmare. Of course we didn't choose this. That's stupid to even think it. It's the hardest, hardest thing in the world to tell someone I'm in the wrong body. Do you not know that we hear ourselves? We look in the mirror every day and tell ourselves you're ugly. I wish I, I watch my TikToks and I say, she's pretty. Like it's not me, it's me. I am pretty. I'm 40 years old. I mean, come on, for real. Okay, I'm being cocky. <laughs> but, back to our country and Trump. and I'm just wondering why someone hasn't went in and said, Sir, you're not fit to do this anymore. I don't care. P Pence may hate gays or not believe in gays or whatever. I think he should keep that to himself, not bring it to work with him. But Trump, on the other hand... He is encouraging people to hate each other. Trump, you made one promise, and that was you were going to build a wall. Well, Mexico wasn't scared of you, and they told you day one, they're not paying for your fucking wall, and they did not. 
But you did punk China. I don't know what you got on them, but yeah, they they pretty much laid to you. And because I remember when you first started calling it the China virus instead of the coronavirus, that was a big deal. People were like, oh, that's so offensive. Well, then it became the China virus to you at every rally for the, from then on out when you're not even supposed to be having rallies because you're spreading COVID. <clears throat> Nothing I have said so far is my opinion. Please remember, Trump supporters. Melania can't wait to get away from him. She sleeps. She didn't sleep on the. Okay. She didn't even sleep on the same floor as him in the White House. She has her own suite. She didn't want to be the um, first lady of the United States. She didn't want nothing to do with this nightmare. She's smart. She used his name to help herself build a name, but she did it all on her own with her own talent that God gave her, not Trump. She's beautiful. I love her accent. I hate that her friend leaked a phone call that made her sound like a human, not a monster, a human. She was stressed. She's hurt. She's married to Trump. Of course she's upset. And you friend, I don't care what kind of money CNN paid you, that was wrong. Friends don't do that. We need people like me as a president because you guys have forgotten how to love people. You guys have forgotten how to trust people. Just fucking seriously. Y'all are who you hang with. Trump, if the only person you look up to is Putin and, and now you're playing with that kid over there in North Korea, you said he was a smart. He has to be smart. You said he has to be smart. He runs a country. He's only 26. Yep, that makes you have to be smart. Because you know what? He assassins his family without a thought. That's dangerous, Trump. You gotta get the hell out of here. And you didn't win. You can lie all you want and say, you said two weeks before the election we even had it, that if it didn't win, you know, if it didn't go in your favor, it was rigged. You already told everybody that. So you already planned your base to be ready to fight. The truth. More of us want good than you idiots. If you're bored with your lives, Go, I don't know what to tell you. Go to church. Go get fishing. Believe in something. Transition. I don't fucking know. Get a therapist. But stop fucking playing with the United States of America. We're supposed to be like number one. Right now, we are in COVID deaths. We're nuts. South Dakota is 60%. Is anybody watching the news? North Korea is over there building missiles that's going to kill us. Trump's allowing it. They just He probably just told him, just don't do it during my term. He knew he was only getting one. And then he knows he's got to go face the music about his legal issues. You don't think all these women that said that he raped me are lying? That's a fuck. Honey, if he says I'll grab you by the pussy, he'll rape you. Period. I know that. Donald Trump is not safe. And that's not my opinion. Well, yeah, I guess that is kind of my opinion. I can't say that's fact because I don't know that. I feel it. And you guys know what I mean when I say that. When he first... When it even started looking like, oh my goodness, he could, these people really might be voting for him. I realized, we're, this is, I even, look, go back and check my post. I was said, this isn't about politics, this is about good or evil. I've never been in politics in my life. I mean, a lot of people don't know that Trump eats like two or three Big Macs a week. I've had one Big Mac my whole life. They're disgusting. <laughs> Trump. 